Hi, I'm Greg Henderson. And I'm Jill Henderson. We're the founders of Hendo. The Hendo hoverboard is something that has to be experienced in order to understand. Words cannot describe it. The underlying technology is totally scalable. We can make it really small or really big. And solving for the problem of lift also revealed the solution for propulsion and control. We are able to turn, move, drive around in any direction, go up and down slopes, or do it all at once if you like. Imagine a vehicle with all the freedom of a car and all the efficiency of a high-speed train. With our hover engines, that is now possible. The Hendo hoverboard is just the first step. It's a proof of concept, the simplest path for demonstrating our new technology in a way everyone can understand. It's a dream realized. When you support our Kickstarter campaign, one of the options is the Hendo Developer Kit, the white box. Inside, you'll find a hover engine that you can use to hover whatever you like. You no longer need to be a scientist in a lab to be a part of building the future. By putting this technology in your hands, who knows what we can develop together. The wheel may finally have some competition. Thanks for believing. Avicii and Hardwell use pyrotechnics at their EDM shows because fire to events makes them more fun and memorable. But chances are you're not an entertainment company with a seven-figure-a-show budget. So entertaining your guests using cool displays of fire isn't easy. Unfortunately, there has never been an easy-to-use and affordable way of entertaining your guests using fire. Until now. Introducing the Sound Torch, the world's first consumer-ready solution that seamlessly synchronizes fire and sound. Every song you link to the Sound Torch creates a unique fiery display of awesomeness. The only thing limiting the amount of patterns for the Sound Torch is the amount of MP3s you own. All you have to do is hook it up to any media device via Bluetooth or your headphone jack, then kick back and enjoy. Unlike table-sized alternatives, the 12 by 12 by 16 centimeter size of the sound torch makes it small and portable, yet remaining large enough to put on an impressive show. DJs in particular will love the sound torch because it's an entry-level way of making gigs memorable. The Sound Torch works with any kind of music. Different songs create different patterns. For example, connecting the Sound Torch with a low jazz track will create a candle-like presence by your bedside. And if you want to have flames burning without the music, there is an app for that. You simply connect your smartphone via Bluetooth and then you can control the flames however you want. A small business, like a bar or a coffee shop, looking to get a competitive advantage can do so with the Sound Torch. Most of these places play background music anyways, so adding fire that sinks to the sound will stimulate the sensory experience and enhance the ambience. So fire is an amazing way of providing entertainment, but fire can also be dangerous. This is why we made the sound torch immediately shut off when tilted. Chances are your barbecue doesn't even have this feature. So if you're not scared of your grill, you're more than qualified to use the sound torch. The sound torch is almost ready to ship. We just need your help with a few finishing touches. First, we want to launch the sound torch at a price easily affordable to anyone without cutting corners on the materials. In order to do so, we need to source high-quality parts while we observe the manufacturing process. When the founding is complete, baggers of the Sound Torch can expect the best possible product. Second, we need your help in the development of the app. You've probably experienced low-quality apps in the past. We want to deliver a fun, bug-free, impressive app once we're ready to ship. Please help make the Sound Torch a reality. 
by bagging this project and or sharing this page with your friends. Thank you. doing some programming instead. No way! Hi, I'm Jeff, and I made something a lot cooler than Robotron that I think Dad would be interested in too. This is my friend TJ. TJ can move his eyes up and down and left and right and open his close his mouth, and you can control it. Or you can write your own software to have him control himself. After a lot of design work, TJ's finally up and running. I'm writing lots of Arduino code to get him working even better, and I'm refining his mechanical design so he's easier for me to put together. I started TJ as a film project. I wanted to make a movie with a custom puppet. But then I got more excited about what TJ could do in other people's hands than I was about keeping him to myself. So what I really want to do is to get him out into the world so that you and your children or your students can play with him, and if you want, write your own code and get him to do all sorts of cool new things. I think TJ is a really fun way to learn about Arduino and server robotics. I would love for TJ to help you get started telling your own stories or building your own cool robots. So, if you'd like a TJ for yourself, or for your kids or your classroom, or you'd just like to see him get out into the world, please contribute right here. Thanks so much. Is it my turn yet? No way! My name is David Hansen. I'm CEO of Hansen Robotics. We bring robots to life as animated characters with facial expressions, physical moving gestures, conversational interaction. They can look at you and be your friend. That's our goal. Professor Einstein is just the start. The time's right now to make an educational consumer robot that is affordable, that everybody could have in the home. Your own personal genius. You have cloud connectivity and this amazing software that we built on the smart device. He has natural language speech processing with the cloud. He can trigger activities on the iPad like videos and interactive games. Let's get the brain firing. We all know that the human beings learn better the more senses you open up in the human body. We have this visual communication between you and the robot. Then we have the auditory one. And then while you're using your finger with the iPad and interacting with him at the same time, it's opening up more areas of the brain. So you're much more adept to learn. One of the things that's really behind everything we've done with Einstein is edutainment. Education and entertainment put into one. When he teaches you, he teaches you Now then, weighing in at 100 billion neurons, the human brain is pretty complex. Not bad for something that looks like a big wrinkly sponge. It's 
hard to make animated characters. It's hard to make robots. And the two together require an extra push. And Kickstarter is the right community. We're crowdfunding Professor Einstein because we want to reach people who know, who care, who are like us, dreamers. And if you can get behind this task, then Hanson Robotics can change the world. My name is Laurent Schnauer, I'm co-founder of Fly. I'm really passionate about new technologies and I naturally fell in love with drones when I first met them a few years ago. I'm convinced that in the future we'll have flying robots around us helping us in our daily lives. But before that we must overcome a few challenges, in particular with respect to safety and usability. So what we did at Fly is to go back to the drawing board and invent the flying robot of the future. It had to be safe, robust and with a great user experience. We've been hacking around in my attic for about a year, building prototypes out of bells of wood and DIY electronics. And after many, many trials, Fly eventually stayed in the air and proved to us that it was uh, all possible. So based on this, we managed to convince uh, Pierre Loest, who is a famous Belgian uh, entrepreneur, but also a talented drone pilot. He became really enthusiastic about the project and decided to invest. When I saw for the first time Fly, I immediately understood that it was not a drone, it was something else. C'est comme un dessin de Da Vinci ou de Spielberg qui prend réalité devant vous. Prenez Fly en main et vous comprendrez pourquoi j'ai décidé d'investir dans ce projet. What makes Flying Design so innovative? It's made of a single shielded propeller and four control vanes for stability. It has the same size and weight of a soccer ball, it's packed with sensor, a powerful onboard computer, a HD camera and a Wi-Fi connection. We want it fly to be smart and autonomous, so you don't have to be always piloting it. You can select a simple mission through the mobile app and just enjoy the live streaming. Fly is a lot of fun to play and interact with, but it's more than a toy. It's really a platform on which you invent the future of flying robots. We have two APIs and an SDK which enable developers to create applications for controlling Fly remotely or when on the onboard computer. It runs Linux and supports the popular computer vision library OpenCV. You can make Fly autonomously detect and react to what it sees, like tracking someone or something in a room. Fly is really amazing because it's in the air, but it doesn't seem mechanical. Uh, when I saw the fly, the first time flying, I was really impressed about the simplicity of the construction. It's, it's so, so amazing, simple. And if it comes too close, you can just push it away and it, it, it moves again and you don't hurt your fingers or anything else. We now have a complete functional prototype of fly and we are ready to enter the production stage. So when you support us on Kickstarter, you are showing us that you share our vision and our enthusiasm. So we invite you to join the flight crew, make a pledge, and let's build the future of flying robots together. <laughs>